This video is not clickbait. I bought my dream bike. I want to tell you all about it and why I'm already selling it. Hey guys, Josh here again with Daily Mountain Bike Rider. And as you can tell, it's been a little bit since I've made a video and I hope to explain a little bit of why in this one today in telling you about a new bike that I built up actually is my dream bike, the nicest bike I've ever had and made. But the sad truth is that I'm already selling it and I don't plan to replace it with another very nice high-end bike. Before I tell you why I'm selling it and what I plan to do in the meantime, let me show you the bike because I know you're curious. All right, we're going low production style, so let me just walk you through this in real time. This is a 2021 Evil Offering version two. It's in the Wasabi Shadow in a size medium. As you can see on the suspension, this is a Fox 38 and 160 millimeters of travel, and I have the Fox DPX2. I took these off my Evil Offering version one and slapped them on here because I love them so much. Going up from the bottom down, I've got my FSA Gradient wheel set, which is a carbon wheel set, but since they don't make a Super Boost stock version yet, I've got some Chris King hubs down here, which have been amazing. They sound awesome. And on those, I have uh, XT quad piston brakes. I've got my SRAM GX Axis Eagle drivetrain. Oops, sorry, a little blurry there. And then of course I have my FSA SLK carbon crank up front. Moving up from there, I've got my dropper post, the Floatron in 170 with a WTB Volt saddle. And then I've got my cockpit with a gradient carbon stem, gradient bar, one up EDC light, GX axis shifter, and that is basically my dream bike in a nutshell. So there you have it. There's my very quick overview of my build, but I realized something. I've been riding this bike for the last couple months and it's probably just about four or five weeks ago. I stood back and I looked at my bike and I just said, why do I have such a nice bike? I mean, carbon wheels are great. Wireless shifting is awesome. Carbon frames are nice as well, but these are things we don't actually need. And for a long time on the channel, I've ridden hardtails and shorter travel bikes to show people it's not about the bike you own. It's about being a good rider and using the bike you have. But here I am making these videos and influencing people on the internet to go and spend a bunch of money on new parts and new upgrades and new frames when I don't believe those actually make me have a better experience on a bike. And if I'm honest, I probably push an agenda to you guys, my viewers, that I don't believe in, and yet I'm pushing it anyway. So I decided enough is enough. I wanna be content in my bikes. I wanna be content in mountain biking. And even though it's nice to have the newest, most fun thing, my joy is not any more, my skills are not any better than three or four years ago when I had an entry level giant trance. And I actually love that bike because it was my only bike. So here's what I'm doing. I am, uh, I'm not selling this bike, it's already sold. It sold in one day on Pink Bike and I'm getting rid of the whole fleet. And my goal is to just have one mountain bike and I'm gonna keep my cyclocross bike. And I do have a cheap dirt jumper that I'm keeping. I sold my nice one. But I really wanna get back to the simplicity of having equipment that matches my needs and really showing to you guys that I really believe it doesn't take a super nice brand new high travel bike to be a great rider. So you may be asking, what bike will I be riding? And the answer is right behind me. It's my good old Ibis Ripley AF, like the uh, kitty coupe back there. But this bike really has blown me away for the travel and I love that the entry level price is $3,000. And yes, as I said in my review video, I've made a few upgrades, but Honestly, this bike is pretty much like the stock version and I have no complaints. Even though it's got 120 millimeters of suspension in the rear and 140 up front, this bike is all I need for days in the park, all here at Galbraith and in Bellingham. And I really believe that's all I need and all that most of us need for a bike. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the channel in general on another video, but along with that, I've just been really thinking about the channel. A lot of people have been asking, where are you? Why aren't you putting out more content? And the truth is that some of you may not realize this is not my full-time job. <laughs> I actually have a full-time job. And I told this on the biker channel, but I actually work at a church as a pastor. And while I love mountain biking, I love my job so much more. And I'm a family man, I have a wife and two kids, and my life just gets busy and hectic. And as much as I love to make videos, so often I just don't have the time or the energy or the headspace. And instead, I wanna enjoy the little things of life, like just going out on a ride with my friends without video cameras. So in saying that, part of getting rid of my bikes too is just creating for me a little more space in my life, a little more flexibility to not have to worry about continual upkeep or having the latest and greatest things, but instead to just have some peace of mind to use what I have and enjoy it. 
So look for another video coming up on the future plans for the channel, but I really do have to say, I so appreciate all of you, all 130 some thousand people that have subscribed, the thousands of views that this video will get, and I just appreciate you guys to no end. I don't see you guys as my audience, I see you guys as my friends, I get to meet you in real life and ride with you, and I enjoy saying hi to all of you anytime I see you out on the trail, so please don't stop doing that. But in the meantime, I'm simplifying and I enjoy it. So I hope the new owners of my bikes are gonna love them as much as I do, and I'm pretty stoked to be enjoying my Ibis for hopefully years to come. All right, I think that wraps it up. Don't spend too much time watching a guy holding the camera in his garage talking about bikes, but get out there, ride your bike, and make sure you do it every day.